Welcome to the latest episode of my Baby Pips Forex Education video series. We are in the elementary section in grade four talking about moving averages. And, you know, we've talked a lot about moving averages and the playlist for this particular grade four and for the whole of elementary so far can be found down below. And in this video, what we're going to be looking at is the classic moving average crossovers to enter trades. So we've looked at the types of moving averages, the difference between them, how we can use it to find trends, but how can we use moving averages to enter particular trades? And this is probably the first ever trading strategy you will ever learn or have come across inside your trading tenure. And again, whether it's Forex or stocks or crypto, whatever it may be, it is one of the easiest trading strategies uh, to get started with. And it only needs two moving averages, whether they're EMAs or simple moving averages, weighted moving averages, it doesn't really matter. All you need is two EMAs, one which is classified as a fast EMA, which is a shorter period. So in this particular example, you've got the 10 EMA is the fast moving um, moving average and you have the second moving average which is a longer period which is the slow moving average and all it is is when the fast moving average crosses below uh, the the longer term moving average you sell and or if in this example over here if the um, shorter or fast moving average crosses above you would either close out your sell position um or if you're looking to get into a trade you would then buy um the position and what it does it looks to capture trends uh from your entry to your exit and what i've got on the screen now is an example on the euro dollar daily chart it works on any time frame um, on, like I said, any pair or any type of underlying asset. So a lot of people are probably asking is what are the two best moving averages for a short period and a fast period moving average? In essence, it doesn't really matter, right? Um, the longer the period moving average, the longer it looks to keep you inside a trend. And we'll go through an example so you can kind of see that. So I've got two EMAs on here. I've got the blue EMA, which is my fast EMA, which is the 50 period moving average. And I've also got um, the 100 period moving average, uh, which is also um, in red. So if we take this section over here, you can see that the 50 EMA crosses over the far, uh, longer moving average of the 100 EMA and you would enter in somewhere in this position over here and you would stay in this trend and this was back in July last year so this is over a year <laughs> you'll be in this trade um, and you would exit when the blue line or the 50 period moving average crosses above the 100 period or slow moving average and you can see here on this if we just look at the number of pips let's say you got in at the bottom over here right and we go down to current price you know that is a what's that 1500 pips is that right i read that right but as you can see it's a significant amount of increase there or pips you would have gained throughout that entire period and just to show you how sensitive the um periods are so let's say we change this to a <coughs> i don't know 20 period right so we change this to a 20 period moving average You can see it, in this example, it doesn't make that much of us actually change this actually, keep this back to 50. Let's change that because we've got a big gap here. 50, let's now make this, uh, I don't know, an 80 period, um, not a thousand. Oh, have we not done this right? Okay. It, Still hasn't, we uh, still haven't got anything on here. 
uh, let's actually move this one to a 10 period just to, just to show the example that I'm trying to show here. Definitely, I've been not looking at this properly, am I? Um, move this to 20. <laughs> this will this will give me what I want to do, hopefully, he says. Um, there you go. That's what I wanted to do. Um, but you can see here that if you use different ones, you are getting in and out quite a lot. Some of these are winners. Some of these are losers um, within this. So you're doing a number of trades throughout this uh, position. But I can go, for example, to a one hour chart. And again, you can take this here as an example of cross here. You're still in the trade here and you've, you know, banked all of these pips over here. So again, it doesn't really matter what time frame you are actually looking at or what um, uh, moving averages you are looking at because you can find trends. My, th my thing is if you want to take more trades and go more of a scalping uh, on shorter time frames like the hourly, then I suggest doing where your fast and your slow are relatively close together and uh, and with shorter shorter distances. If you want to look for catching bigger trends, again, you want to do bigger period moving averages. So again, this is where again the beginning of your technical analysis career. And then what we're going to do inside the next video, which hopefully should be on the screen now, is how we're going to use moving averages with dynamic support and resistance. So how can we utilize support and resistance zones as we learned back in, I think it was grade one, I believe it was, of, of elementary with moving averages. So using two elements of technical analysis together to create what's called confluence to make better trading positions. So check out that video now, it should be on the screen, and I should see you guys in that video.